Today, we're going to talk about how bending forward at the back can put more pressure onto your disc and how does that work. So, uh, in a bit, I'm going to have a zoom in onto the uh, vertebrae models. But for now, picture the disc. Basically, it's a little cushion between the two vertebrae, like a water bag. So imagine we squeeze the water back one way, say in this case, the front, the liquid will go backward and vice versa. If you go push back this way, the liquid will go back. So picture this at the disc. So we bend forward, especially the younger you are, the healthier your back is, your disc is actually be quite you know, hydrated, meaning they're pretty liquid. So by putting or by bending forward, you're putting a quite a bit of hydrostatic pressure backward and if you do it enough times, then that can weaken the shell of the disc and get the disc material leak out. But the same tokens that if we go backward, we can put that pressure back onto basically this water bag. We can use the same methods or same mechanism to get the disc material back. So this is basically one of the one of the explanations on McKenzie or the back bend on how this works. So in the following video, you're going to have a little uh, breakdown on how this works. This is the low back vertebrae. So to orient ourselves, top, bottom, back, and the front. So this is the disc. This is what we call the spinal nerve. This is the spinal cord. So I want you to be able to see when someone's have a disc tear over here, the little red this part right here. So when you flex forward, you will see the jelly sort of come out right there and pushing on to the nerve. So can pay attention to about right over here. I'm going to put the things on the side. So when you press compression and bend forward, you see the jelly comes out and that jelly right there is actually going to push on to the nerve and that's what can cause symptoms like sciatica or leg pain. So that's that. In the clinic, we believe education is power. We empower our patients by really educating them and share the knowledge uh, about their conditions with them so they feel less fearful about their conditions. And hopefully in this case, you learn more about why bending forward actually may hurt your back and what you can do about it. So if you like this video, please Give it a like and comment below if you have further questions about what you can do and what we can do to help with the low back pain.